I, you know, I, first, I'm like, oh shit, hey. Excuse my language. But I'm like, All right, that ladies was and gentlemen, that was an action packed oh, title I'll bout. We have no less expectations for this title bout. This will be for the Junior Freedom Light Featherweight title. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, please welcome Landon Cahill. Yeah, seeing Waleed just standing there, I'm like, man, boy, oh boy. Imagine I picked a fight with this guy. I would have <laughs> no idea what he would do to me right now. <laughs> and he's surprisingly tall for 125 pounds. I don't know how he makes it, man. Beats the hell out of me. Oh, okay, we got a very big fight here. We got Peter going up against Landon. Huge fight. Peter had a phenomenal performance the last time he fought on, uh, on Freedom. Now let's see uh, Landon fighting out of uh, Eastside Muay Thai in Virginia, Virginia Beach. And Landon, uh, teammate of Quinn, who had a great performance overnight. night. Let's see if Landon yeah. can repeat. Very, very, very good gym, Eastside Muay Thai. They have a ton of fighters. They do very, very good. So shout out to Eastside. Shout out to Eastside. And they have a bunch of young, great younger fighters yeah. on the rise. So that's great to see, see them for the years to come. Landed the challenger here, challenging Peter, Speedy Petey, for his light flyweight belt. Junior Introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, he is the 95 pound freedom defending champion the 100 and pound freedom defending champion. He's now fighting for the 102 pound freedom world title. Please welcome fighting out of the red corner, Speedy Petey and Ignostine. Well, it looks like uh, Speedy P brought the fans. That's for sure. Speedy Petey, he's running out of room to put these freedom belts. He yeah. already has two. Wow. Looking to make it number three. But there's a man that stands in his way. Landon. Landon Cahill. I think I said that right. If I didn't, I apologize. Good enough. Speedy Petey just got back from the Youth IFMA Championship where he took home the silver medal. Wow. He actually beat Thailand. Well, get out of here. He beat Thailand in the wow. semifinals and lost to Ukraine in the finals, I believe. But the silver medal is something to hold your head up very proud about, especially after beating Thailand. All right, the following contest is presented by Resilient Fightwear and is for the Freedom Junior Light Flyweight title. Taking place at 102 pounds, this bout is scheduled for five two-minute rounds. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, this fighter's 14 years old, standing five feet, five inches tall. His official record is 10 wins, opposite of two defeats. His official weight, 101.5 pounds. He's coming to us tonight by way of Virginia Beach, Virginia. He represents East Side Muay Thai, please welcome Landon Cahill. Cahill, I said Cahill, Cahill. Introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This fighter's 13 years old, standing five feet, four inches tall. He holds an official record of 18 wins, opposite of five defeats. His official weight, 100.5 pounds. He hails from New York, New York. He represents Seton Jim, New York. He is the three-time Freedom National Defending Champion, Speedy Petey and Ignostine. A lot of support here for Speedy PD. Well deserved. This kid works hard, man. Training partner of mine. And just an absolute beast. And the dedication he has for his, for his ages. Unmatched. Alright, there we go.
go. Round one of a scheduled fight. Speedy Petey out of the red corner versus Landon. We got five rounds ahead of us here. Blue corner. All right, here we go. And uh, Landon just comes in and just kind of tackles him. Nice catch right there, looking for a dump. Great job from Speedy Petey with that knee guard. Used that knee guard very well to keep himself up. These guys are very jumpy here. This crowd is going crazy already for these two young killers. I, I really like the way uh, Pete's using uh, that knee guard every time he gets in the clinch. Again, there he is, does it again. Totally nullifies He's Landon. He's able to nullify, yeah. Land anything. Lands the knee, gets right out. Looking for that high kick, he just misses. Good push kick from Speedy. Landon pushes him up against the rope. And he knee guards again, but unsuccessful this time. You can tell Landon's very strong. He's kind of yeah. like almost tackling things. Hey, like a bull. Looking for another knee guard there. Applying the pressure is Landon right now. Landon coming forward. He wants his belt. He wants to take from the champ, Speedy Petey. Landon did not come here to play. He's just coming straight forward. And there goes the end of round number one. Welcome back, our brother in Taj. What's up, Neil? What, what did I miss? You missed a whole lot. I know, I saw Wally's fight. It oh, yeah. Crazy. Petey looking strong, too. He didn't like that flex in the in, to nah, start the No, he didn't like right? it. That was, um, I think that was a little bit of a tough round there for uh, for Speedy Pete. Uh, Landon came out uh, as the aggressor there. And um, I, think, I, I think that round might have gone to Landon. Let's see what uh, let's see what uh, well, Aziz is gonna tell us. Uh, Pete in the corner right now. What kind of differences uh, or changes he's gonna make in the second round here? There it is. Round number two underway. Oh, Landon comes out firing right away, pushing right up against him. Oh, and he goes down. Speedy Pete did not like that, ladies and gentlemen. And flexes as he stands up too. He's imposing his will right now. Very nice knee guard by uh, Speedy Pete. He's good at that. Beautiful, oh. beautiful work. They both roll under the ring, under the ropes, back on their feet. Landon, and Landon kind of just tackles him almost. Landon's definitely running forward. It's his forward momentum coming in. Romulo's Rami, uh, trying to clean it up a little bit. And he's looking for it again. Beautiful knee guard from uh, Speedy Pete again. Amazing balance. To That's the highlight down. of the first uh, first two rounds from Pete. But just oh. not enough. Not enough to stop Landon from coming in. Landon is getting a warning. For lifting him. If he does it again, I think he's going to take, uh, Romney is going to take the point. Lennon is throwing some bombs at people. Yeah, huh? he's, he's, he's applying the pressure for sure. And it looks like he might have uh, taken a low blow here. Ref's going to give him up to five minutes here. He 
he's okay. He said, I'm good. Landon's coming Landon's putting hard. the pressure. Landon looks like he's got some really heavy hands. Now, I think what Landon needs to do, what his corner needs to tell him to do, if you're going to apply that pressure, try and keep your distance a little bit. Goes for another dump, and he gets it. And that's the end of round number two. I have a 2-0 for Landon. Yeah, PD's gonna have to do something in these next three rounds. If Landon's gonna keep coming in fast like that, he needs to step out of the way, probably dump him as he's coming in. If he wants to grab him in the clinch, allow him to allow Landon to push forward and use his own strength against him in a way. If I'm uh, if I'm in Pete's corner right now, I'm telling him to stay on the outside and just start moving your legs. Start moving. Start moving. Start moving. And start picking your shots. Cause sitting there waiting for uh, Landon to come in is is not going to do you any justice. All right, round number three about to be underway here. And they go outside of the ring! And they are saved. Pete's corner not happy about that one. They are telling him to stop tackling. All right, they resume action here. Very nice kick from, uh, from Peter, but it looks like it's not gonna be enough here. As Landon just bull rushes right back in. Got the cross face on him right now. We're fighting back. for position, all the sweat flies on top of our face. Oh, big right hand from Landon! Big shot. Knocked the sweat off of Pete's head! Big shots from Landon. Landon is just running forward. That, see, oh, that's, that's what that's I That's what he needs to do, circle out. But I, I want him to stay focused. It's like a bull in the matador. Landon looking for that big punch, turn, turn. just misses it. The crowd is definitely on PD's side. Let's see if they're able to give him any juice. I see Aziz telling him to throw him when he comes in. And he's backing right up, which is now what he wants to do. When Landon's coming in, you gotta create that angle, get to the side. Nice evasion there from Pete. Way to get himself out of the corner. Oh, and the knee while they're outside of the ropes. And that is the end of round number three. And the referee is talking to Aziz. Nah, because I saw what happened. Something. He was trying to, he was, um, the, while the ref was breaking it, Landing through a knee and um, right now and towards the end, yeah. Okay. And uh, Aziz's, I I saw um, Romulo hesitate, like if he was gonna tell Landon something, and, and decided not and stopped. And I don't think Aziz like that. Like if you're gonna, I I feel like he's if you're gonna say something and say something, don't okay. change your mind. Well, let's see here. But Landon, like we said before, the ref sees what we don't, so you know, Landon, sometimes the ref knows best. Landon, Landon's coming in with some, some crazy pressure right now. Yeah. Very, very powerful in the clinch. Very powerful young man. Very loud behind us. And he comes bull rushing once again here. 
Nice right hand from Pete to get out. And there goes another turn and almost a dump. He jumps back in, but he, I don't think and he wants to And they're back in the clinch here, clinch. tussling. Landon seems to have the advantage in the clinch. Uh, I wouldn't, I don't think that's the best strategy for Pete to jump into the clinch. And he lets his hands go. Petey able to nullify the punches here. Let's see what he's able to do. The referee comes in to break them up. Landon's just leaning on him. Looks like Landon comes in, throws a bunch of punches, and then just stops him. Nullifies him. Push the nice, nice turn. Petey really needs to stick to that. Just 13 and 14 years old, these young men. They're fighting with some better technique than some of the grown adults. Yeah. I can't imagine being 13 years old trying to fight one of these guys. Oh, I, I, hell no. <laughs> they put me in a blunder. Me and my friends would have just jumped them. <laughs> At that age? <laughs> Raymond is real heavy on his front leg when he comes in on the clinch. Looking for that high kick. Petey grabs him uh, knees to the back by landing scoring. Um, now, one thing to keep in mind, kneeing the back is, uh, is a safety hazard, and I believe it's illegal, if I'm not mistaken, to knee the spine. But somehow, uh, sometimes, you know, you get away with it. I think his score is big. Oh, Thailand at least. Oh! Big dump. Big dump, by the big dump almost looked like a choke slam. And that's the end of round four, ladies and gentlemen. Round five is about to be underway soon in just a minute. Um, right now, from my scorecard, I think um, I think I have it uh, four rounds to zero for Landon. Um, I just think uh, physically, he's just a strong, a, the stronger fighter right now. And um, and at that age, when you have that uh, that 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 strength advantage, you're able to utilize that to his advantage, and he's able to make it work for him. He realized all I have to do is kind of go forward and apply a little bit of pressure, and I can stop him. Until the until the <laughs> my mic was up most of the time. Uh, sorry, y'all didn't hear me. I was talking, but I had the mic up. Um, I would say uh, that last round, that fourth round, I think that was PB's best round up until that last dump at the end. Yeah. But I do think that Landon is winning this fight so far with just the, the pressure, the power. All right. Oh, Speedy comes right out. Oh, but Landon with a very nice hook. And they go right back to the clinch here. This is where Landon wants to be. Pete's trying to look to put the pressure now and turn the tables. I think Pete needs a knockout to win. That's just my opinion. Um, I'm not gonna, uh, I don't think you're wrong in, in that assessment. Landon looks fresh, he looks strong. PD doesn't look like he's ready to slow down either. It's just... It's just he's, he's being put in uncomfortable positions that are not advantageous to his fighting style. Very big left hook coming in from Landon. And another left hook coming in from Landon. Two big left hooks. And a big right hand from Landon. Oh, and Chris catches him right before he lands. Kind of. Petey trying to show something back here, but doesn't look like it's doing too much to Landon, unfortunately, right now for him. Another big right hand from him. Landon grinding his head. 
into Petey's neck as he's clinching him. It's a very uncomfortable position to be in. All right, we're dwindling down on the final minute of round number five here. Let's see if uh, Speedy Pete can take something out of the bag of tricks here in the last 10 seconds to sway him the fight. Doesn't look like it's gonna happen here. And ladies and gentlemen, that is the end of the fifth and final round of this fight. A very good fight by both gentlemen. That was a very interesting stylistic uh, match up there. Yeah, uh, great job by both fighters. Yeah, um, for sure. I, I think Landon walks away with this one. I love Petey, that's my that's my training partner. I think that that eight that one year age difference uh, at this age, Landon is just uh physically more developed. Yeah. He, he's yeah. Seen, he's the he's the taller fighter. He also looks like the stronger fighter. He looks a lot more muscular as well. And so Petey, so Petey, great job Petey, to Petey him. is definitely a muscular kid too. Freedom Fighters would like to thank our sponsor, SMT Trans in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. If you are a truck driver, an owner, operator, and you're looking for routes, you're looking for work, get in contact with SMT Trans. They will get you the jobs at competitive pay. Shout out to SMT. My boy, Savlot. <laughs> That's my boy. You gotta shout out the homies. All right, ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we have a unanimous decision for your winner, fighting out of the blue corner, Landon Cahill. And I'll tell you what, Landon brought some fans with him all the way from Virginia Beach. Oh, yeah, they did. Oh, they're here. On their feet, too. That was a great fight by Landon. All right. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm being joined by your new Freedom Fighter 102-pound world champion, Landon Cahill. You came into enemy territory right in Peter's backyard and took out the defending champion in a new weight class for the world title. Tell me, how do you feel about your performance? It's the best I've ever felt ever. This is the, wor this is the best fight I've ever fought in my whole entire life. Thank you, Rami, so much for bringing me into Freedom Promotion. It's the best feeling I've ever had in my life. Again, it was back and forth. You won the unanimous decision. Your t the target is on your back. You have the strap, that piece of hardware that people are gonna be gunning after. When can we expect to see you right here, back in the Freedom Ring, defending your title? I will come whenever anyone wants to fight, ever. I will fight anyone who ever signs up. I wanna thank my mom and everyone who's ever brought me here, my family, my teammates. I want to thank Eastside. I want to thank Jose. Love Good you guys gentlemen. so much. Thank you, Rami. This is the best. One more time. Let's hear it for your winner and new 102-pound Freedom World Champion, Landon Very well-spoken young man. Congrats to him. Awesome performance by Ladies him. Ladies and gentlemen, just a couple announcements. Make sure you make your way back to get your refreshments, your food, your drink.